In this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply a binomial by another binomial. In this case, we are going to apply the FOIL method. So FOIL method, what does that mean? That means first term multiplied by the first term, outer term multiplied by the outer term, inner term multiplied by the inner term, and last term multiplied by the last term. So first term by first term. That means the first term of the first binomial multiplied by the first term of the second binomial. So that first term is this multiplied by the other first term. So 5a times 6a. 5a times 6a is the same as 5 times 6, which is 30. And then a times a is a squared. You copy the common base and add their exponents. If you don't see a number on the upper right corner, that means the exponent is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So 5a times 6a is 30a squared. Next, so we're finished with the first term multiplied by first term. Now outer term times outer term. So the outer terms are these two. So we're going to multiply them. So 5a plus I'm going to change this to actually B instead of Y. Just got used to using X and Y. So 5A times positive 9B, that would be the same as 5 times 9, which is 45. And it's positive because both of them are positive. And A times B will just be AB. Okay. Next, inner term times inner term. So this is the inner term right here. That means the terms that are inside. So inner times inner. So these two, this is negative, this is positive, so the result will be negative. 7 times 6 is 42, and B times A is the same as AB or BA, okay? And then, last term times last term. So the last term of the first binomial multiplied by the last term of the second binomial. So we'll have 7B times 9B. Negative, time, negative times positive is negative. 7 times 9 is 63. B times B is B squared because we are adding their exponents since they have the common base. You copy the common base and add the exponents. Again, laws of exponents. From here, we will simply look for like terms. Now notice that 45AB and negative 42AB both have AB attached to them. So that means they are like terms. So I will copy the ones that don't have any terms that are like terms with them and I will combine the like terms. So 45AB minus 42AB that's just 3AB minus 63B squared and this is our final answer. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please leave that in the comment section. I appreciate you watching my channel. If you like the videos that I present, both the math videos and the art videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much, everyone. You have a wonderful day.